The Los Angeles Dodgers tendered contracts to Yancy Almonte, Walker Bueller, Caleb Ferguson, Tony Gonsolin, Bruster Gratterall, Dustin May, Evan Phillips, Will Smith, Tracy Thompson and Julio Urias, which keeps all 10 players under team control for the 2023 season. This news was published by DodgerBlue.com. The credits will be in the description of this video. Check it out and subscribe to our channel. Hot news from the El Dada Dodgers. The aforementioned players have three or more years of major league service time but less than six years, which makes them eligible for salary arbitration. However, Gonsolin, Gratterall and Phillips are part of a select group of players with two years of service to qualify for arbitration as Super 2 players. Although the Dodgers retain the rights to these players, they are still not officially under contract for the 2023 season. The team will continue to discuss a new contract, and if they have not agreed on a salary by the January 13 deadline, the club and player exchange salary figures for the upcoming season. After the figures are exchanged, a hearing is scheduled and typically held in February. Generally, after figures are exchanged, the majority of cases are avoided with one- or multi-year contracts. If no settlement is reached by the hearing date, the case is brought before a panel of arbitrators. After hearing arguments from both sides, the panel selects either the salary figure of either the player or the club, but not one in between, as the player's salary for the upcoming season. Almonte, Gonsolin, Gratterall, May, Phillips, Smith and Thompson are all entering their first year of arbitration, which gives the Dodgers three years of team control remaining, except for the Super 2 players, who have four years of control. Bueller and Ferguson are both entering their second season of arbitration, which gives the Dodgers two years of control over them. Bueller is expected to miss at least the majority of the 2023 season, if not all of it, but he is still expected to receive a raise over his 2022 salary. Urias is entering his final year under team control and should receive the highest salary among the arbitration-eligible players. The Dodgers may also look to negotiate a long-term deal with the Southpaw, but Urias agent Scott Boris is notorious for having his players test free agency. Dodgers non-tender Cody Bellinger, Edwin Rios and Luke Williams In addition to tendering the contracts of 10 players, the Dodgers non-tendered Cody Bellinger, Edwin Rios and Luke Williams, making each of the three a free agent. The Dodgers are still free to negotiate with all of them, but they are now eligible to sign with any team.